stolen and cut your abs using weights. A lot of people don't think about using the bar or using dumbbells to really get a good cut, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite exercises that you can do at home using your dumbbells and using your squat bar. First one, you're gonna make a lunge. So we're gonna grab our weight, you're gonna make a lunge, and then you're gonna do a one chop. So you're gonna take it over the shoulder, take it back down, making sure that you keep your body in line at the front, and really make sure that it's your abs that you can feel stretching and doing the work. Next one, really good, swings. Brilliant for your lower abs. Get yourself a weight. I like to add some cardio into my swing, so I'm gonna add a step. So you're gonna swing and step. Swing and step. Really drive forward with the hips. Pulling them in, engaging the abs, breathing out on the work. Next one, we're gonna do snatches. I like to do double snatches. So again, grab your dumbbells, squat down, grab your weights, back is flat, head is in line with the spine. You're gonna come up, bring it back down. Come up, bring it back down. You can do this singly if you're just starting out. Bring it back down. But the motion of having to get that weight up above your head, that compound move is gonna really tighten and tone those abs. Not only that, it's a full body move, so you're gonna burn fat from everywhere. Your next one is around the world. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite moves. Grab your dumbbell, bring it up, up to your shoulders. You're gonna take it around the head, slowly bring it back. Around, bring it back. Pulling in those abs. You're also working your shoulders at the same time. But really make sure that you go all the way around. Make those upper abs work. Make those lats, make those shoulders. Join in the fun. Whew. Next one, we're gonna do a bike press. Again, brilliant for your abs. So normally, you'll do bikes using just your body weight. So I'll show you just right now. So when you come down, you normally do a bike out just like this. We take it up a level. We're gonna add the scoop bar, add a seasit, and we're gonna add a press. So you're gonna come in and press. That seasit is engaging the abs. That press is engaging the upper abs. You're really gonna feel this one. It's gonna get the heart rate up there as well. work on pulling those abs in. Whew. Next one, we're gonna do uh, suitcase crunches. Again, one of my favorite ones. You can use your dumbbells or you can use your bar in this one. I prefer to use my bar because you've got more uh, stability. So let me show you how this goes. You're gonna come down onto the floor. You're gonna take the bar up into the air, bring your knees in. What you're gonna do is you're gonna reach the toes, take it over. Reach, take it over. Now, if it's too much for you to take it over, just hold it here. Up, the idea is you're gonna concertina those abs together in the middle. So you really pull them in in the middle and that weight is gonna absolutely smash your core. You're gonna love it. Then to finish off, we need to add some obliques. So normally we do a side plank like this. So when you do a side plank, probably used to doing this one all the time, we're gonna take it up a level. You're gonna grab your dumbbells, put it on the side, take that side position, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up, take it down, up, take it down. So we're getting, again, some shoulder work, some back work, and we're also working those side obliques, getting that heart rate up there. 